vote to the much needed jobs in our area. Yet the state itself just released the figures. Binghamton, along with Utica, have the highest unemployment rates in the state. Of the 400 plus working members of Local 112, we currently have 37 working out of town, living in a motel at their own expense. They're away from their families in order to make ends meet. But they're the lucky ones. We also have 89 members who are currently not working at all. Some have totally exhausted their unemployment benefits. Some have lost their health insurance. Some are having trouble paying their bills and are in danger of losing their homes. We need these jobs. And it's not just the jobs associated with the gas, extracting the gas, it's all the other jobs that would come if the natural gas infrastructure were in place. The possibilities are endless. I'd even like to have the opportunity to have natural gas at my home, just like so many of those that are against gas development. <laughs> but Albany has decided it's not safe. What really is 100% safe? Is driving always safe? Is, is it always safe to cross the street? Is putting a manufacturing plant in your town 100% safe? Is it always a safe working environment for the men and women who build our roads and bridges? They put their lives in danger every day. How about for those of us that build any type of building, including your home, is that always safe? The answer is no, but we still do them. We have to, it's called progress. Those of us in the building trades live with this every day. We recognize the dangers and mitigate them as much as possible by providing the best trained, most skilled labor force in the area. <laughs> Instead of outright banning all drilling because they feel it's not safe, Albany should be saying, what can we do to address our concerns? Don't just throw your hands in the air and say it can't be done. Put a team together so we can develop this valuable resource. There are a lot of very intelligent people, not only in the state, but in the country. If we can put a man on the moon and bring him back home again, if we can develop drugs to cure just about anything, why can't we come up with a way to do this? Let's get to work, New York. We need those these jobs. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>